In this question, we are having an LTI system with input XT, output YT and frequency response H omega. Input is already given in the question. It is equal to minus 5 sin 2t and we know frequency response is a complex function. So it is having the magnitude represented by mod H omega and it is known as magnitude response and it will also have the angle represented by angle h omega and it is known as phase response so we are having the magnitude responses plot here and the phase responses plot here so in question we know the input we know about the frequency response and we need to find the output yt so first i will give you the general case and then we will solve this question we will understand what will happen when we have the input xt as a sinusoidal function for this i will take a general sinusoidal function a naught sine omega naught t plus phi where a naught is the amplitude of the sine function we are having here and omega naught is the fundamental angular frequency phi is the phase difference output yt will be equal to input we are having with two changes the first change will occur in the amplitude in this case the amplitude is equal to a naught in case of output the amplitude will become a naught multiplied to the magnitude response when omega is equal to omega naught so calculate magnitude response at omega naught and multiply it with the amplitude of the input you will have the amplitude of the output so we have a naught multiplied to mod h omega naught then we have sine omega naught t plus phi now the second change will occur in the angle here we are having omega naught t plus phi and after passing the input signal through the LTI system the output's angle will become omega naught t plus phi plus phase response at omega naught. So plus phase response at omega naught. So this is the output when we have the input as sinusoidal function. Now we have all the knowledge to solve this question. So let's move. To the solution of the question the input xt is equal to minus 5 sine 2t given input is equal to minus 5 sine 2t and if you compare this signal with the standard signal you will find omega naught is equal to 2 so from here we have omega naught equal to 2 and now we will find out the magnitude response when omega is equal to omega naught for that we will first find out the slope of this line slope is equal to 8 divided by 4 which is equal to 2 and we know y is equal to mx plus c y is equal to mod h omega y is equal to mod h omega m is equal to 2 x is equal to omega and c is equal to 0 because line is passing through the origin so mod h omega is equal to 2 multiplied to omega and when omega is equal to omega naught which is 2 we can say that mod h omega naught is equal to 4 so we have mod h omega naught and in the same way we will calculate angle h omega naught which is the phase response when omega is equal to omega naught again we will calculate the slope slope is equal to pi divided by 4 pi divided by 4 and we have phase response equal to pi by 4 which is the slope multiplied to omega intercept is equal to 0 again because line is passing through the origin omega is equal to omega naught and omega naught is equal to 2 so we can write phase response at omega naught is equal to pi by 2 now we will easily find out output yt it is equal to the amplitude of the input 
multiplied to the magnitude response when omega is equal to omega naught that is 4 so minus 5 multiplied to 4 then we have sine 2t which is the angle of the input plus the phase response when omega is equal to omega naught which is pi by 2 so we have 2t plus pi by 2 and we know sine pi by 2 plus theta is equal to cos theta so we can write y is equal to minus 20 cos 2t so this is our answer i hope the lecture was clear to you i will end it here see you in the next one